Everyone reads as a further to here back with another deck review. Today we're looking at the Cross uh, Golden Grace deck, which for some reason I did not pledge for on Kickstarter and I got it after the fact. I was hoping initially to get it up alongside the other Cross decks I reviewed. That didn't happen, but here it is. Better late than never. Uh, this one is a pretty limited edition. It's actually relatively recently priced, all things considered. And, um, it is, of course, by Riffle Suffle and Peter Voth. There's 999 decks. It has nice, uh, foils, holographic foils on a tuck case in gold and black. And, let me see if I can prove that a little bit. There we go. The cross. And this premium playing cards, so Roman numerals. Very nice, highly detailed. That says cross on the side with more gorgeous details. Save the other side. Cross on top. A little ad copy in the bottom. Made in Taiwan, it says, because they were printed by I guess, expert playing cards. And the back is the back design. This is really nice. Numbered seal, actually 800 decks. I said 999 on the project or whatever. Maybe there was 999 produced. But there is a hundred or uh, hundred ninety nine that are gilded. That's probably what it is. So eight hundred numbered seal. I got two seventy six, and uh, nice custom seal. It says break the seal on something. I can't really tell what it says, but it says something. On the flap, more nice details. Some birds. And inside, a little snake. Some religious symbolism. And then, the inside here it says, Martyr dies and his will begins. Although they cut off Martyr. So it's kind of weird. I don't know what happened there. Oh, it just comes off the other side. The tyrant dies and his rule is over. The martyr dies and his rule begins. Yeah, pretty cool saying. There's some information on the bottom as well. Hard to see. Pretty cool. So we get uh, a couple of jokers. St. George's on his horse. Well, this one's more the same, just the reverse. And he is... Stomping on a dragon there, and uh, I actually have information on that. Basically, this is uh, yeah, same swords in the dragon. I guess he's getting victory over the dragon. And this one, I don't recall the other ones too much, but it has gold indexes, gold lettering with black and red index pips, completely custom. There's the ace of spades. Riffle Suffle playing cards. Uh, all the cards have custom pips, even little custom symbols. It's the same artwork as the other decks, of course. You got uh, all sorts of religious figures on the court cards. Uh, I do have that written down, actually. I can go through them. The Ace of Spades, by the way, is uh, St. Matthew the Evangelist. King of Spades, Dietrich. Uh, we'll get to, to that. It says Wang. Zach of Spades here is Wang Zimming. Interesting. Queen of Spades is the Grand Duchess Elizabeth. And King of Spades, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. I apologize if I'm off camera. Um, the Ace of Diamonds here is St. Luke. Symbolism, I do believe. Unless this one is different than the other decks. And there's the nice custom pips. The Jack of Diamonds. We have Paul Snyder. Queen of Diamonds is Edith Stein. And the King of Diamonds is St. Oscar Romero. Going on to the clubs here. We got St. Maximilian Colby. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Mance 
Massimola. Let's see if I can if I read that correctly. Mansi Massimola, at least if my writing's correct. <laughs> and Lucian Tapidi on the Jack of Clubs. And then some more custom artwork. The Ace of Clubs here is Saint Mark. That's what's represented there. And then we're moving on to the hearts here. We have Martin Luther King Jr. Esther John. And finally, Janai Luan. It would be nice if they actually wrote the names on the court cards or had a card included that identified who everyone was. Just, it's nice to know, it's nice to have something like that when you're doing a deck like this that has all sorts of actual, like, historical figures. Most people aren't going to know Adam from Eve, you know? <laughs> this is an example. And then there's the hearts, and then the ace of hearts here. Uh, it represents St. John. Now, the backs actually have gold foil on them. Very nice, shiny. The other ones did not have foil on it that I can recall. That's why this one was more expensive, a little bit more expensive. It wasn't that badly priced. And uh, it was more limited it's because it's got foil backs and also holographic foil tuck cases. Tuck cases, I believe, are hot foiled. I believe the backs are cold foiled, if I recall correctly. That's what I got here. There's also metallic inks on the faces. And, um, yeah. This is all about the story and influences of the cross, the sacred, and the ordinary motto is in there as well. And, yeah, it's all about... Christianity and religion. Overall, really nice deck. Solid A+, plus in my opinion. Beautiful design. Really nice bat design. Really nice tuck case. And that is that. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. We'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.